Supporters of the Racial Justice Act today are displaying a lot of anger over the vote Wednesday to amend the act. They say passage of the changes was appalling and the state took a step back in racial justice. The act allows death row inmates to challenge their death sentence, citing racial bias. The amendment approved this week would narrow the use of statistics to claim racial bias. It goes back to the Senate for concurrence. A group of relatives of murder victims held a press conference to denounce the vote. Pat McCoy's sister was killed in Spokane, Washington, 40 years ago. He said the vote this week reminded him of the bias he experienced in his youth in North Carolina. I grew up in Fayetteville and remember signs in downtown theaters directing African Americans to the balcony for the passage of the Civil Rights Act. And the prominent Ku Klux Klan billboard out on Highway 301. We can celebrate the progress we have made since then, and we can work to eliminate the remnants of that legacy that persists. There is no more shameful legacy in our state than the racial bias that has infected our use of capital punishment. A Michigan State report on racial statistics of the death penalty is used to show more blacks are sentenced to death than white suspects. Republican Representative Tim Moore said even the authors of the study told lawmakers during a meeting the statistics didn't prove racism. But I think I may have been the one to ask the question of the uh, presenter from Michigan State, which was, are you saying that there was racism in the trials? And the answer was no. What they were saying was that in isolated cases, there were these statistics. That's what, that's what it was. Well, that has mushroomed into this concept it simply has not been proven. Democratic Representative Phil Hare raged against the changes in previous debates, but this time he had other priorities. During arguments later over another bill, Hare said he hadn't had time to go over it. I'm Matt Willoughby.